Blowers. I am on my disused station episodes again, and this will be probably episode five. Uh, and I'm at Trafford, which was worked as being known by approximately about nine names over its life. It opened on 5th of May 1857 by the uh, MS Jar. Oh, I'll have a look at that in a minute. I think it's Manchester South Joint Altingham Railway. And we'll be here. And I've just noticed something very, very interesting. Just bear with me a moment. Now is a existing platform just there. Then you just got another platform there, and then we're on to the matching line. I am now thinking was it, Wikipedia says it was a two-platform station, but I'm thinking it was more than a two-platform station, and it was in fact a four-platform station with one on the far side, just over there. One here is Ireland, and one where I'm standing now. And that's what I was into. Uh, on 5th of May 1857, the station was opened by the Manchester South Junction and Altingham Railway, the MSJR. A as Manchester Art Treasury Exhibition is being built, was being built to serve exhibition of that name, which was opened between 5th of May 1857 and 17th of October 1857. Um, the station closed in October 1857 and it was adopted and we opened as the Old Trafford Cricket Ground in 1862 for use every year and therefore after until 1866 and max days only. Um, and then the station was open to special events such as Royal Agriculture Society yeah. exhibition in 1869 and again between May and October 1887 for the Royal Jubilee yeah. exhibition in, in Stretford Royal Botanical Gardens. Whoops, I think I'm doing this all off kilter. Um, and again between May and October 1887 for that. So pretty much most of its life as a railway station uh, it was used for events for the nearby cricket ground or the football ground or ev events in the Old Trafford area just off Warwick Road um, and it was always operated by the Manchester Joint um, it was always operated by the Manchester South Junction and Altingham Railway um, over its life and its names have been pretty basic. Um, it's been known as the Cricket Ground in eight, 1862. In 1867 Cricket Ground Old Trafford 1910. The Cricket and football grounds in 1931 Warwick Road or Warwick Road Old Trafford or Warwick Road for Old Trafford and now it's simply known as Old Trafford it's operates seven days a week 366 days or whatever of a year uh, there's a free, frequent service there's two lines now running from Altingham into the city centre um, 
and that's pretty much old, uh, not old, again, old Trafford in a Sunway. There's not really much to show you around the local area, but if I find any more information or old pictures of Hook Trafford Forward Road, I'll insert it in a moment. The cool football, with it being so close to the two big sports stadiums, is on match days. So it's quite quiet at the moment due to there not being much matches going at the moment. Um, so it's quite a handy station. We have, yeah, you do have the old United Football Club stadium over that way. Um, on the main line, but the most stations now I'm using Metrolink. Um, but this station, when it's close to the main line station, it closed in 91, 1991 for conversion to Metrolink work, could Metrolink operation. I don't know why I'm making a shoddy job of this today. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it was close to 1991, traffic in 91, and then it opened as a Metrolink station in 92, maybe 93, and he double check that. But other than that, that's pretty much the station in the summer. Um, we may revisit it at some point, but that's Old Trafford in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video and plus there is no uh, proper main bus service to Old Trafford. You just have to, it, it's only Metrolink you can use. And that's Road of Exploration signing off. Thank you for joining Mike on this Road of Exploration service.